What's that dance? This is the, we get to see arms and legs dance. We get to see gummy. You better get up there before he comes in. We get to see gummy bear. It's a big day, you guys. This is the last crucial, you know, like the critical beginning stage appointments where make sure the baby's growing properly and everything's going well. So I'm excited. Excited. So today we're gonna to watch it grow to hopefully, it's been about two weeks, so six should be like 17, 18, 19. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. You've been well, not too nauseous or anything? Just, I just started two days ago being nauseous. Okay, a little bit. All right, so here's the pregnancy. Look how much it's grown. Okay. You can see the yeah. head. Can you see the head over here? Seeing the heartbeat for the first time was one thing, but hearing it was one of the most beautiful moments of our life. I felt like I was holding my breath and I could finally breathe. Oh my God. Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I know you've been very patient for this thing. Okay. So 178 beats per minute. I just remember how happy we were in that room and we were crying, we were laughing, and just. It was the best day. So. The arm buds. Can you see them right there? Oh, they're just little buds. Oh, little, oh, little tadpole. Okay. Oh, there you there go. go. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you're in your eighth week, and then everything looks perfect. Okay. Thirty-four on the gestational sac. This is the yolk sac. Oh, thank you. <laughs> happy, happy tears. Yeah, happy tears. Oh my God, hearing that heartbeat was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so it's always a treat. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, look. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> what the fuck? The little heartbeat. Look at the little heartbeat. Got little temple arms. Oh, oh my God. God, Desi. When I heard the heartbeat. I know. That was everything. It died. Desi. It's a healthy little baby. <laughs> I've been waiting so long for that. I'm <laughs> so happy right now. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. And this is why my eyelash extensions don't last. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was magical. It was the, the most purest moment, I think, that we've experienced this entire journey. It's just something that we've been waiting for. And to see Desi's reaction and to feel it myself was... I don't know, that 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 moment was life-changing for me. Look at the little, the, this is like, you know, the crocodile's oh, like, yeah, like mouth, and then here's and the eyes, eyes yeah. and it's like <laughs> on its back like this. Uh, oh, our baby looks like a crocodile. <laughs> what do you say, eight and a half weeks? God, I'm so happy, thank you, God. I'm just like, <sighs> I've never felt I mean, I can't even imagine what it's going to feel like when when we meet our baby, let alone, like, that just got me. That was... Like, I'm so happy right now. I can't even put into words. I've been saying that every appointment, but that heartbeat sound. <sighs> I wasn't nervous for this appointment. Like, I was a little bit, but not as much as the last appointment because I truly feel... You felt it. I feel the pregnancy so much, like more and just like like it was progressing like it was you know not the same feelings but things kept progressing and so i was like oh my gosh when my body tells me i need to sleep i have to sleep steven actually started <laughs> of an archive of everywhere steven started an archive of all the places i fall asleep at <laughs> and he takes a picture every time and sends it to my little brother <laughs> and it's pretty funny but when i need to sleep like usually I can work through anything and I'm like no I can work through this but I can't I have to sleep the only time I really pushed through was for the photo shoot yeah and I pushed through and I was I, was surprised. I had to keep my energy alive and I just kept eating to make sure that like I would had enough energy yeah this is awesome <laughs> what an what an amazing experience what an amazing uh, journey I'm really sad that the next appointment is my last appointment. We graduate. We graduate from. from yeah, we graduate from reproductive partners. And we go to our OBGYN, 
from now on, which is like so sad to me because I love like everyone there. The whole crew there. I mean, they they they've literally been with us from. I don't want to leave them. I'm just like, the hey, bitch, just take me to the end. <laughs> Since we're here, I will update you guys on the pregnancies. Every symptom that I have, even if it's bad, I just am so grateful to have the symptoms. Well, I just started getting a morning sickness about two days ago, so at the end of week seven is when morning sickness has hit me. It's more like afternoon sickness for me, and it's pretty bad, <laughs> but I mean, bring it on. It, it made me feel comfort that I was getting it because part of me was like, oh my God, I'm not getting morning sickness. Is that a bad sign? Even though I know some women don't get it. Very sleepy, my boobs are massive. When I say massive, I mean like sumo wrestlers on my chest. It's offensive. Like, it's like, <laughs> I can't fit into any of my tops. And like some people on Instagram are starting to notice. They're like, damn, your boobs look really big. And I've been trying to shrink them in face too. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. like. I'm not ready for people to know about my pregnancy quite yet. I'm giving it some time until it's like I'm completely in the safe zone. And so I'm just trying to be low key about it, you know, trying to hide, throw you guys off, posting pictures of me holding like a glass of wine, even though I'm not drinking it. <sighs> That's about it. I mean, what else do I have to say about the pregnancy? Just sleepy. It's fucking awesome. It is awesome. It's really great. Cause now anytime Steven tries me, I'm just like, Steven, I'm throwing <laughs> a placenta. <laughs> I'm pulling the cards. It's been really great. It's All like, of the cards. I mean, I've been waiting so long to be pregnant that now that I am, I'm just gonna enjoy every moment of it. And we just came back from Morocco. We headed to Morocco for my birthday trip, which was so nice because this is a time for Steven and I to get away and celebrate together that we are finally pregnant. And um, <laughs> that's really when my symptoms hit for the first time. So Dizzy's actually slept about half her way through Morocco and uh, Marrakesh. She, uh, yeah, just about ate and slept. Ate and slept. Ate and slept. Because what we didn't tell you, and what you didn't know in the vlog, is that she was already pregnant here. So, that little beautiful angel that's sleeping right there, she's the mother of my child. Aside from sleeping my way through Morocco, I was also extremely hungry all the time, craving tomatoes. Tomatoes with salt and pepper. Um, the hotel staff was so nice, they always looked at me and said, do you want tomatoes? Like they knew me as the tomato lady, like I had to have tomatoes with every meal. Steven cracks me up. I'm like your little You're gonna girl. win a husband of the year award you need pre this year. I got prenatals. You need some progesterone and oil? I got pre uh, I got that. You need some estrogen? Steven is literally my pack estrogen. mule for all my IVF medication. And he I also got some salt. You get a little low, low, low salt? Low perfectly sodium. packed. Got some salt for you. You need some vitamin C boost? I got some of that too. Vitamin D? Got that in a pill. He has like my prenatal vitamins. He has all the medications I have to take. Got all the proper documentation too. You can't stop me. And TSA ain't got nothing on me. He even has snacks for me that he knows I'm gonna. Too. He has some apricot marmalade for the plane for me, and he also just asked the hotel for some croissants to go because he knows that I will get everybody eats hungry on the flight. That's so cute. Very sweet. I just asked him, I was like, oh shit, I forgot to take my prenatal vitamin. He takes it out of his fucking <laughs> pocket. <laughs> time ago. The trip was excellent. Like I slept, I ate so much good food. I'm realizing through my pregnancy that I am just wanting healthy food, even though I am currently in the drive-thru at McDonald's. But I just, okay, you don't need to like put me on blast like that. <laughs> I am pretty sure, this is like a test, because I'm pretty sure that my baby does not want bad food. Because everything I've been eating and craving has been healthy, like fresh fruits, salads, I've never eaten more fruit in my life. Um, tomatoes. When I tell you I've never eaten so I already love tomatoes, but now it's like tomatoes, 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 tomatoes. Um, so yeah, that's about everything. I'm gonna order my french fries, I gotta go back. I went from having a lot of symptoms to then one day I woke up, I had no symptoms. I 
didn't feel sleepy, I didn't feel nauseous, I didn't feel extremely hungry, no cravings, so I started to freak out. I think it's normal when you've experienced a miscarriage to worry in the beginning stages of your pregnancy that something might not be going right. I let Stephen know and he called the doctor immediately and he's like, we're, we already have an appointment tomorrow to go get an ultrasound just to make you feel better. Like they said, come in, it's not a problem. I instantly felt relief knowing that, okay, tomorrow I get to see the doctor and we get to see if the baby's okay. Okay, so clearly you're fine. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Okay. okay. You did the right thing, you called uh, when, you, when you were worried. This is what we're here for, this is uh, why. This is oh why we're God. making sure everything looks good. Here's the yolk sac, 4.9. Here's the baby. Okay, 27, awesome. Wow, wow. so much. Yeah, this is the- 21 the last. Yeah, and 40. Awesome, you're doing fine. Okay, okay. oh God, okay, So, good. So this is just kind of, sometimes you'll feel symptoms, sometimes you won't. Okay. Okay. Well, that makes me feel better for future yeah. moments where I feel like this. You just did the right thing, okay? Stay safe out there. Yes, okay. well, um, going straight call, back home. Yep, call if you need anything. Good morning. Here is my little Charlie over there, surprisingly very calm this morning, because usually he is like hyper. And then Harper's here laying on my belly. She's always laying on my belly. She's such a little angel. This is just my morning every day, only he's usually like all up in my business, but right now he's, he's relaxed, which I'm like, are you okay over there? He looks like a little like furry blanket. Well, hello. Husband of the year. Thank you. Welcome. I noticed you're wearing the same quarantine outfit as yesterday. It's in the house. I know it's safe. <laughs> Stay safe and healthy out there. Safe Staying and healthy. This is my first outing. Since okay. The last week right. when and I was then, here. And then after She's this, excited. I'm excited I know. to be out. And after this, you're going straight back home. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so you can see it grew a lot. Here's the heartbeat right there. Nice strong heartbeat here. Oh, every time it gets me. <laughs> okay. So crazy. Great rate and rhythm. We are measuring 170. Okay. So that's perfect. Okay. So you can see it's trying to look like a baby now, right? Can you see head over here? Great. The arm buds right here. You see the hand right here over the face? Oh, okay. yeah. All right. And then the legs are down here. Congratulations, okay. See the hand right Yeah. Saying hi. Mm. Uh, my God. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, there's the hand. <laughs> oh, oh my God, that's yeah. crazy. Congratulations. <laughs> you did it, okay. Uh, right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> yes. Um, congrats. Oh, thank you. Really playing at a show right yeah. now. You did it. Oh my god, I can't wow. believe this. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Is this really it's showing off? It's like, I'm gonna keep going. Looks up against the glass. Yeah. yeah. It's like, hey guys, I'm right here. I'm also in quarantine. <laughs> yes. That's, not, that's a good thing. Day one, I told you we'd get you here. Okay. Right. And uh, you did it. It's you just, it. it's been amazing. Thank you so much. No, it's, uh, and again, the, the best thing you can do so that I know you're doing well is just keep in touch. I okay. Will. And then obviously when you deliver, send me the great news. Oh, I will. Okay. I need mean, dancing in there. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. The other day I was laying on my stomach. Yeah. And I felt like almost like a little flutter, like a butterfly. But I was like, there's no way. I felt like a little like, and I was like, what the hell? And it was just like a flutter though, like not like a hit, like a butterfly. It was really strange. It was awesome. Wow. I can't believe it. Okay. He literally cannot make this up. Look at Harper. The cannoli, Desi. Look at Charlie. After the stay at home order, came into place. I really didn't even let Desi leave the house. <laughs> Seriously, she's been home. The only time that we left was for doctor's appointments. So this is quarant quarantine day. We don't know anymore, but we're still going to the baby doctor. being pregnant during this whole situation was a global pandemic. 
This is like your only outing. This, this is, is the only, only time Desi gets to leave. Desi, I... Desi hasn't left the house in 20 days. And I swear to you guys, like, my mom's gonna make me strip butt naked when I get home <laughs> and take off my clothes and put new clothes on. It's like a whole thing. I it's can't, real. we can't like shop around for. No, guy knows. OBGYN. For OBs, you do it. I'm not touching anything. <laughs> it's real people hey guys, I'm out of breath all the time and I can't tell if I'm getting fat or pregnant because of all the quarantines <laughs> I don't know <laughs> my belly's already like getting pretty plumpy but again am I gaining weight? I need to ask the nurse is this, is this weight gain or is this baby bump? <laughs> I need to know it's important for me to know and then when we go in now, they check our temperature, they make sure we're good before which they even so let us cool. in the office, which is cool. Steven, you look like a tennis player today. Am I all white? Well, you're in all black. <sighs> hey, I'm, well, all I'm a little nauseous. I've been nauseous all night. Desi woke up last night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Desi, you okay? <laughs> I will say, like, there's pros and cons to being pregnant at this time. The pro is that I feel like no one suspects me because everyone's in sweatpants and eating a lot. Mm -hmm. And obviously I don't want anyone to know until it's perfectly safe. And so that's nice. Like I get to sleep and my body forces me to sleep a lot. Like I've been really tired and I don't have to be at events and people ask me why I'm not drinking. No one forcing me to take shots. Uh, but you're gonna come out of this quarantine with a belly. <laughs> if we are really in lockdown for as long as they say, I will be five months pregnant when we get out of the quarantine. To think about that is insane. Hello. We have graduated. We graduated our fertility clinic, so now we're meeting with OBGYN. This is our first ever meeting. I'm like kind of nervous. Don't know what to ask. They said they have to give me a, a light pat. <laughs> oh, feet moving around. So good. It looks great. I was hoping this doctor would be the one. And unfortunately, it wasn't the vibe. I didn't feel the warmth. And I realized through this process that some people need straight facts and just black and white and let's do this. And I'm the type of person that needs warmth and good energy and I need a little bit more. <laughs> so that ended up not being the right fit for us. What were you saying just now? I was just saying that I can't wait until you have like a really big belly and uh, I see like a little foot or a handprint or like dancing <laughs> around. Cause you were talking about like you take a sip of coffee and you just need a sip and it just makes you feel good. Yeah, cause I'm not, I'm trying not to drink coffee. Even though the doctor said it's okay to have one cup a day. I still feel like guilty doing it cause it's so hard for me to get here that I don't want to mess it up by like even doing anything I know, bad. I have been so good about everything, but I know that like that little sip with like that little caffeine jolt would make them like bounce around. And I was I saying that I just can't wait to see that. And then uh, whenever I see like other girls that are pregnant, like, and they're always like, oh yeah, you see like the foot press out and they're like, oh uh -huh. yeah, you can touch it. I always feel like weird. And I'm always <laughs> like, I want to touch it. I want to feel it. But, so I can't wait until it's like, on you and it's so I have a big belly with a little foot coming out. Yeah. Oh, you can make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, too. I can't wait until there's a little kid running around. It's so. Exciting. I can't wait to see what it. What, the first time I feel the baby move. Oh my gosh. There's no no excuse. Okay. She said if you don't walk, then you're gonna get a big belly, and then I'm gonna have to carry you everywhere. Yeah. Can you She's, imagine, poor Stevens? Get up. There's an eyelash stuck to my leg. Look. <gasps> and, and spaghetti sauce on my boobie. You're oh a mess. my god. And you're only how many weeks? I'm already months. 13 weeks.
coronavirus started to get really, really serious. U.S. public health officials are reporting the first case. CDC says it still does not know all the risks COVID-19 might pose to pregnant women. Partners are now being banned from the delivery room. Probably the most important factor in all of this. We're talking the health of the staff, the health of the mother, the health of the baby. Times, though, have become scary for expecting mothers. Stephen and I arrived, and when we walked in together to check in, the nurse looked at me and said, I'm so sorry, but due to coronavirus, partners are no longer allowed to be with you at your appointments. I completely understand it, I get it, but at the same time, man, that, it's heartbreaking. I think I was really shocked at the moment because prior to the appointment, no one had let me know that, and. I think it was just such a strange concept that he couldn't come with me. We've been on this whole journey together and it just took me a second to process it, but then I remember taking the sign-in sheet and saying, okay, I totally understand. We're just gonna go fill out the paperwork. So I went to go sit down with Steven in the waiting room and she called me back up to the front. She said, I'm so sorry. Um, he can't be in the waiting room at all with you. And I was so shocked. I think that's when everything really hit me. I'm standing there wearing a face mask. Everyone around me is wearing face masks. I don't leave the house at all. Steven hasn't even let me go to the store at this point. So this is really a shocking outing for me to see how different things have escalated since our last appointment. I told Steven, let's just go wait in the hallway together until the doctor calls us in. That way we can just fill out the paperwork and wait together out there. And we decided to just go out in the hallway. And as I'm standing there, there's like tears coming down my eyes because the possibility of him not being with me for the rest of this journey until whenever this is over made me very sad. I don't know if the nurse saw that I was upset, but she walked out into the hallway and said, we will let your husband come in for this first appointment because we know how important it is that you both meet the doctor but we know that for future appointments, he won't be able to be with you and you'll just have to FaceTime him. My head could not wrap around that. Just such a weird thing to think about. But I was so happy. I said, okay, thank you. Thank you so much. So um, yeah, she allowed Steven to come in for our first appointment and that was great. We met Dr. Finke. He was exactly the person that I wanted him to be and imagine delivering our baby and we both really loved him so it was great so this is the new normal it's the new normal we're kind of just going by the guidelines and we're hoping for the best but it's really sad because they don't the rule is now that steven's not allowed to be in my appointments with me i'm so emotional and like to the thought that he might not be able to go into any of my appointments until this is over, which means like he won't be in there with me to see the baby developing. Like, oh, I want to cry just talking about it. We understand it's like for safety, but it's still, it's very emotional it's for us. Like we want to protect the nurses and we're going to abide by all the rules that they give us, but it doesn't make it any less sad or like, like more emotional. The fact that, you know, I want to be there every step of the way for Desi and be right there and be as much of a part of it as I can. And they said like, oh, well you can FaceTime while you're in the appointment. And even that, it's just like, it's just sad to think about. Uh, it's hard. You know, we're doing everything we're supposed to, we're wearing our masks. Can't imagine that there's women that are being told they can't give birth with their partner in the room because that would break my heart. Like, I would be so devastated. I was like so excited to get out because I mean, we haven't left the house, but now like it got me really sad just thinking about it. Like we still have time, like with an October due date, hopefully this is all passed. And you know, this is the precaution that we have to take right now, but it's not the long-term permanent solution. So we're gonna get through this. I know. Oh. FYI, we've had these masks from our earthquake kit and we wore them in the very beginning when this all started. And so it's not like we have a plethora of these, but. <laughs> Beautiful growth. Oh, right. Measuring 13 weeks and three days. Almost. Oh, wow. Right. Can I help thee get in there? <laughs> oh. It it's... moved. Oh, see, that's movement. Oof. Oh, got a mover in there. Honestly, to hit the 12 week mark 
and see that everything's great is so relieving. Mm -hmm. How you feeling? I can't even imagine what it's gonna feel like when the belly's really, really big. Cause I'm already out of breath. <laughs> I feel like I weigh 500 pounds, even though I don't. You don't. Like when I carry my body around the house, it's like. <sighs> <laughs> you just walked up the stairs. Oh, I'm winded. <laughs> nice sunny day today. So tell me, yes. what are you most excited about becoming a new? Daddy. I think like all the experiences that I can uh, like have, teach the kid how to swim, just the whole experience of like growing with a, another human. Just those little moments, that's what excites me. And I don't even know what all of them are gonna be, but I'm just so excited to experience those with you and, and this the belly little right one here. and that belly. This yeah. is like the first time I'm actually seeing some baby bump here. A little bump going on. Look at that. Looks big from the front. I like it. God, you're beautiful. <laughs> we do know the gender. We do. It's very exciting. Definitely want to share it with everyone soon. I just want to find a cute way to do it. If you guys have any ideas of cute gender reveals, leave them in the comments. What do you guys think it is? Any guesses? Let me know in the comments. Well, yeah. pulled over on the side of the highway. It's 11 o'clock. And there's cows outside. I told you I was gonna give you a shot with some cows. <laughs> on the side of the highway. So uncomfortable. Ah! Make it in? Oh gosh. Right. Woo. Mission complete.